What's good, peeps? Thanks, as always, for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if it's your first time coming through. All right, so um, very, very good fight on the weekend. Potentially a great fight. I feel like we've been waiting for this one for a while now, but it is here. Josh Warrington defends his IBF strap against Gid Galahad. Um, I love this fight. Absolutely love this fight. No excuses whatsoever, right? No one's weight drain. No one is maybe past their best. Both of these guys right now are at the peak of their powers. Um, people, not me, but some people maybe have said that Josh Warrington's wins against Selby and Frampton have somewhat of an asterisk against them. Um, Selby obviously struggling with the weight. It's true. Obviously, he moved up two weight classes. And Frampton maybe not being the Frampton of old, but uh, not for me anyway. I'll say that now. I think both wins were fantastic. He was an underdog in both fights. And I think defending your belt, winning it from Selby is tough enough, but then defending it against Carl Frampton, he has solidified himself as a world champion. So um, I don't have any asterisks against those two performances, but some do. Nothing can be said about this matchup. This matchup, both guys are coming into this and th there are no excuses, right? It is a case of the best man will win. Um, when I first thought about this fight, I was very 50-50 with it. I was very, you know what, can't call it 50-50. Um, very high on Kid Galahad, very, very high now on Josh Warrington, wasn't before, I have to admit. Um, I thought that he maybe got a bit too emotional in his fights. It was a case of maybe that crowd roaring and on and he was making loads of mistakes. But now he looks fantastic. He actually looks almost unbeatable, um, especially at this level. I, I do think Kid Galahad is maybe just a step below world level. If he jumps up to the likes of Santa Cruz and Gary Russell Jr., um, maybe he will then struggle a little bit. But at this level, I think um, he's he's unbeatable. Um, he looks very, very good. And something that he didn't have before that he's got now anyway, he looks like he's got power. I mean, this is a guy that I don't know how many wins he's had, but I think he's only got like five stoppages. But when he hits, it looks like it hurts. I mean, he clearly hurt Frampton a number of times. Didn't get him out of there, but hurt him. And definitely, definitely hurt Selby. So I think his power was underrated. So he's clearly got power. We know that. He's now got the experience of fighting... Um, big venues, big arenas, big fights, which is very, very important when it comes to the big time. He's beat two at the time world-class fighters. I don't care if they were slightly past their best. He's done that in Frampton and Selby. So he ticks a lot of boxes for me. But I think the number one box he ticks, and I think I mentioned it before, is his work rate. It's fucking ridiculous. I, I've, I mean, I haven't seen a work rate like that for years, for years. I can't, I'm, honestly, I'm trying to think of fighters in any weight class that have the same work rate as Josh Warrington. I mean, his work rate will get him through um, a lot of trouble, especially if he does win this one and then goes on and fights maybe Valdez for a unification fight. That work rate is just incredible. It's almost insane. I'd love to go to his gym and see what he does and see what he eats and how he gets in shape because it's, um, it's non-stop. It's almost wind him up and let him go. And um, look, you have to be, I think... A very, very good boxer to almost nullify that kind of work rate, right? You have to be so intelligent and so and so have a boxing IQ in order to kind of pick holes in what Josh Warrington does so you can almost do what you do and become successful. I don't know if Kid Galahad is that good a boxer to almost nullify that work rate. Um, I think Kid Galahad's a good boxer. Do I think he's an elite boxer? No. Um, I think he's um, he's just a good boxer. He hasn't beaten anyone, um, I think, that I can say, okay, yep, he's, he's there. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, it doesn't mean he can't beat them, but he hasn't done it yet. Could he beat Josh Warrington? Absolutely. Do I think he will? No. I don't think he will. I don't think um, he understands what it's like fighting in that arena with, what is it going to be, 20 or so thousand hardcore Josh Warrington Leeds fans behind him, right? I mean, they're going to be giving Josh Warrington every ounce of support he needs and that is that there's no joke there's no two ways about it sorry that is hostile territory i mean it counts for something this is why people like fighting at home they like fighting at their arenas because they know once they've got their fans behind them it's another 10 percent. i mean you give josh warrington another 10 percent. i mean he's already got 100 for me he's got that much energy around him so um i don't see what he can do to keep josh warrington off He's got a bit of pop. 
Um, not incredible pop, but he's got a bit of pop. He's got a bit of power. Remember, Gallagher has actually come up in weight class as well. So Josh Warrington's the bigger of the two. They're naturally bigger of the two anyway, I think. So I don't know. Um, he's a good boxer, is Galahad. Um, I think he's the better boxer of the two. And he ticks that box. But every other advantage, I think, goes with Warrington. Again, fighting in those big stages before him winning is a big thing. Galahad doesn't know he can do it yet. He talks like he can, but he doesn't know if he can. Um, but it is a great fight. So I would edge to Warrington sort of 60 40. I've started watching a couple of Galahad's recent fights on YouTube, the ones I could find. And he's quite slow. I mean, he picks his punches well, but you can see it coming. He's very predictable in what he does. Whereas Josh Warrington's not predictable at all. I mean, I don't know if Josh Warrington knows what he's doing. I mean, that's not discrediting his boxing IQ, but I mean, he honestly fights 100 miles per hour. And what he doesn't do is let off. It's not like a guy that you think. Okay, yeah, first four rounds and he'll start to slow down. He doesn't slow down. This guy didn't slow down at all against Warrington, sorry, against Selby and Frampton. So he isn't slowing down against Galahad. Um, but it's a great fight. I, I can't wait for it. I mean, it is free. I, I say free. It's on BT Sports, so we're not paying for it. So I guess we kind of class that as being free nowadays. Um, they should have done it the other way around. Obviously, you've got Tyson Free versus Tom Schwartz later on in the evening or later on in the early morning, which is pay-per-view. So you have to pay for that. They should have done this as pay-per-view and then include it with Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz. Doing it this way around, people are going to fucking try and stream Fury Schwartz. People ain't paying for that crap. Uh, I say crap to Fury fans, you know what I mean? It's not a matchup we're very interested in. But um, this one I am. What's your guys' predictions? What do you think? Um, I, I think it will go to points. I don't see anyone stopping anyone. Um, and, and I think um, Warrington will retain his belt and then go to America, as a lot of people seem to be doing now, and fight over there. Uh, and then, obviously, you've got the unification against Valdez, something that they hoped would they would do before this one. Uh, Valdez has got a fight coming up as well. Um, is it on the undercard of Fury? I don't know. I don't think so. But he's got a fight coming up. So, fingers crossed they both win that. WBO, I think, and IBF, unification fight. Um, it'd be nice if they could get Valdez over here. I mean, Josh Warrington obviously sells. And I wouldn't complain if Valdez versus Josh Warrington's a pay-per-view fight. I understand the economics around it. It'd be nice to get him over there. But... He's got his work cut out against Galahad, but I think he's got just enough, especially now that he's fought at world level, to get past this one. Um, what do you guys think? Anyway, let me know. Peace.